All right, I can drop down here, but that almost feels like it's going to be a boulder or something coming down on me. And I can continue to shimmy up this way, but there's nothing there. All right, let's drop down then. Yeah, it pulled my camera in that direction. Hmm. There's, oh, there's a lever in here. I was going to say there's nothing in here, but nope. Here we go. It suddenly got very dark around that corner. All right, well, I guess I need to scale this now. Man, these ancient Egyptians wired so much stuff just to, like, a simple lever. If they had electricity, I'd understand, but... Oh. Who's that? Hello. Okay, let's wait for him to not be looking. Alright, then we'll drop down because those things do an absolute ton of damage. Look at him go. Hang on, we can just cheese this, can't we? Yep. Alright, here we go. Last one, I think. There we go, and then he explodes more than a quake lobby. I don't know why they do that. Seems kind of odd. Well, there's a lever here. For this door, perhaps? Yeah, so what does that lead to? I have no idea. But there's also a lever here, which I think is going to do one of the drawbridges. And then we can use the save crystal. Yeah, that's another drawbridge down. Another one of these mirrors, which I am convinced at this point do a whole lot of nothing. And also a small medkit. I am so tempted to swan dive off of this. Okay, let me save. Let me see where that other path goes. And then we can swan dive down, because we didn't actually access the, um, the gold door room in the, uh, the room with blocks at the start. Oh, this just puts me back out where the other section I was in did. Because that's where that hole was there that I could have dropped down. But no, there's not really anything here to stop me, or... I guess the better word would be dissuade me from doing a bit of a swan dive off of here. I just need to make sure I line this up correctly. I think that'll do. Let's do a run-up one. Oh. <laughs> that had my heart in my mouth. So yeah, that, that door at the bottom there is not open yet. Alright. Here we go, let's see what's behind this thing. It's potentially a secret. There's a safe crystal, it's potentially also just another way back up to... the pedestals, things that we were at before. There's a mummy in here. I'm stuck against the wall. Okay. That's why there was a safe crystal. Yeah, that's exactly why there was a safe crystal. Oh, I didn't even aim that time, that could end really badly. Oh no, we're fine. Alright. <laughs> no, I just just swan dived right off the edge without a care in the world. Yeah, let's get back to where we were. Let's kill that thing. Worst part about going back to do this? I'm gonna move this block again. Though I think I could just push it this way twice instead of like aiming it against the wall and then do like a running jump up to that thing. Let's give that a try. You know what? I think this'll work. There we go. I'll save this safe crystal for when we've killed this thing. I do think we need the old shotgun to help here, though. To kill this thing much quicker before it pins us against a wall again. No, don't just stand there, Laura. Alright, let's heal. Oh. If it explodes on you, um, you die. Interesting. Alright, let's not aim again. Alright, we're fine. Yeah, so we've had those limbs explode on us before and it's not actually done anything to hurt us. But I guess if it dies right next to you, it just ends you completely? Alright then. Now I kind of am getting tempted to use that save crystal before we go in there, but these blocks aren't that difficult to move. Alright, so two shotgun blasts, run, grab magnums, kill is going to be our plan here. And I'm already in a wall. Heal. It's actually low enough, I can just finish it with the pistols. Alright, that was rather close. Heal again. Get our magnums back out. 
Alright, we're good. Alright, we have a lever here for one of the drawbridges. So we did need to come back this way in the end anyway. Great, let's pop that one down for us. So there's just one more drawbridge left to pull, I think. And I'm pretty sure that room that we keep going there, which has like the drop down bit, is where we're going to have to go to get that. So we can grab this item. Yeah, that's showing us that door underneath again. Maybe they coded it so every item you picked up would show you that door, because it doesn't matter which order you pick them up in, the last one will always open it. But that seems kind of strange in how they wouldn't just set it so that when you hit the trigger to open the door, it hits a trigger for the cutscene. Maybe it was a technical limitation or something. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Here is the hole in question. I'm sure there's plenty down here for me. Let me have a look. Oh no, I've been in this one before. Though to be fair, I haven't actually been all the way down the bottom, have I? I don't think I need to worry about full damage there, it's just kind of like a staircase, right? Oh, never mind, that's full damage. There's just a wide open space. Probably just to act as like a full trap for those ledges up there. Or maybe there's enemies. Okay, that one's dead. Was there a lever up there? Is that what I just saw? Yes, it is. All right, then. Potentially the last drawbridge. No, I just heard some stuff move. All right, just thought I'd check in these uh, little backspaces, see if they've hidden any items, and for once, they haven't. Oh, so that lever turned this into a slope. So I guess the other side is a staircase again? So that says to me that I need to pull this lever again, because there's no other way out of here, is there? So maybe this was just here to let you reset the, um, the trap above me? Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to get back out of here if you survived falling in. Oh, on my way out, look what I found. Just a little bit of ammo in here. Don't mind if I do, we really need shotgun shells, we don't have very many of them. We don't talk about those, even though it's happening very often, and I am at present talking about it, we just don't talk about those. Okay, so the one path that doesn't have its drawbridge down is over there. And I can actually get to that around the corner here if I just, like, walk along from the, one of the other drawbridges. So I guess I just need to head down and into there. So yeah, it's just this one out over the corner here. So we drop down here and then head in this way. So what do we have this time? There's a lot of things we need to drop and shimmy across with. But I want to check out this bottom space first, I think. Oh, that spawned two mummies immediately. Laura, get out of there. Oh my god, I can't move. <laughs> we need to climb. Look at our health. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it's not like I could shoot in this situation either. If I try to fire my guns here, I just get knocked around again. Like, I'm not even trying to jump in the directions it's sending me in. What on earth is happening? Just climb, Laura. Just go. Nope, she's dead. Alright then. Okay, so we know these enemies don't actually spawn until I hit that bottom section, because you can see in the darkness there they don't actually exist right now. If I just do this... Does that spawn them in, or do I need to touch the ground? Okay, so I need to touch the ground, which means... I do this. Yep, they're moving, I can hear them. Well then. How does it feel to get cheesed to death? How about you? You want some too? Well, very cheesy kills, but we got cheesed to death first, so I don't see the problem. 
The worst part is, um, there's not actually anything down here. This is just down here for if you fall, so we just kind of wasted a lot of ammo and wasted a lot of time respawning. But you know what? That's fine by me. Alright, so I guess now we just have a lot of shimmying to do in this room. Like, I need to go around this left side to get down there to get across to that bit right above Laura's head. And there's a save crystal just down underneath this blue platform here, which I think we desperately need after all the crap we've been through so far. So let's start making a move towards that side of the room. Okay, her view's pulling sharply upwards. Is there a thing in here? There is a health kit. Oh, it's a secret. For once, the, the viewfinding thing actually pointed a secret out. Oh, and there's magnum ammo. Okay, I would have liked shotgun shells if I'm being honest. We still don't have very many of those. Oh, but this allows me to get on top of this, which means... Oh, the shotgun shells over there. Oh, my prayers have been answered. Thank you, game. Now we just need to not die doing this because we haven't used that save crystal yet. Not too difficult to do. Shotgun shells for me. And I wonder if this gives me a safe way to drop down anywhere so I can kind of skip some of this shibbying. Um, that doesn't look very safe. Though we can go down over there, I guess. Which is where we would have been if we, uh, didn't come up here for this secret anyway, so... I guess that's kind of good level design to give us a secret and not allow us to skip half the level in the process. Alright. Time for this little shimmy section number two. And I guess this is where they kind of expect you to have like a momentary lapse of concentration. Let go of the X button and fall down onto this box. I don't know. We're over. We're fine. We're closer to the save crystal, which is exactly where I want to be. But we have this third shimmy section here to do first. Which I don't really see as having any problems with unless my controller decides to malfunction and puts me on the floor. Okay, we're over. Good. Now where is that crystal? There it is. Oh god, can I make that? I must be able to. There we go. That was quite close, but we need to save now. Alright, so we're back in this central area. Oh, there's a lever right next to me. That's what we're doing in here. Let's give this a pull. That's the final drawbridge, so let's get back out of this place. Oh, I see. I see how it is. These enemies down here, they were for the way out. So when you come down here, they spawn in right next to you. Well, I am very glad that I went down there first now. It wasn't a waste of time at all. Alright, and here's the final artifact, which I think is going to open that door below us now. No? I thought I got them all. Oh no, there's one left right there. So we dropped the drawbridge, but we didn't pick the artifact up. Let's give this a grab. There we go, and now the door should open. There we are. Alright, so let's find a safe place to do a swan dive. I think this'll do. And we'll get through this door in the middle here. Alright, here we go. Where does this lead us to? Going quite far down. Oh, there's some ammo. Bet you can't guess which kind. Oh look, some shotgun ammo too. Alright. We're actually starting to get a little bit of um, ammo variety now, so maybe I'll stop complaining so much. Then again, maybe the complaining's what's doing it. We are getting quite low on breath, though. We could do with a little bit of air soon. Looks like we're going up now. If I have to just spam health kits, I will, but... Oh, look, here we go. Let's drop back down for these shotgun shells, and then we'll deal with that mummy up there I can hear. Where is it? It's there. Okay, so I basically just want to surface on the opposite side to it, really. And then jump in the water when it gets close. Or we can just do that because it won't react, because it can't pathfind over these tiny little blocks. Alright, well, we've got a save crystal anyway, so we'll use that. What's this up here? Ooh, we have found some more varieties of ammunition. Well, I do like the way the tile set in this game makes everything look complete, yet at the same time you just, like, pick things out out of the corner of your eye and you think, that needs investigating, and then you find goodies. Oh, that down there, that grid on the other side of this room is where we started the level, so we've kind of done, like, a horseshoe shape. 
And we're back at the previous level? I can hear movement. I did not mean to come down here. Right, I pressed the walk button just like a second too late, a fraction of a second too late, and I dropped down. Got a health kit here. Yeah, I tried to stop running as soon as I heard it. But I do kind of like how these um, these two levels, this one and the previous one, intertwine. It's like actually part of the same area, not just, you know, two completely independent things in the same sort of geographical setting. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, Oh, I know exactly where I am. Remember in the previous level, there was that pillar with the four little indents in it, and I had nothing I could put in them? And then in the corner of the room, there was also this little slope with a... with a doorway that was kind of hidden by vines that I couldn't access no matter what I tried. That, I think, is exactly where I am right now. Pulling my view out this way. Oh, that's a door there, isn't it? Yeah, we couldn't open that door either. So my guess is that if the camera stops, like, screwing around with me, like, trying to pull my view around, that's not me moving it, by the way. Then we can interact with this pedestal over here. Put all this stuff in here. And then get out. No. No, so that's the wrong one. I think it's that one, the scarab. Okay, that goes in there. Hold up, hold up. Before I do this, also, yeah, it's doing the same camera thing with the door. Let me have an explorer around here, because I'm pretty sure they will have put more items in here. Yep, here we go, there's some shotgun shells behind this thing, it looks like. Alright, so we'll take that. Then, if I remember right when we first came to this level, there were things above the Sphinx we could take. So that we could climb up the side of the Sphinx and there were things we could loot. So it was up the back here, let's see, is there anything in here now? No, I think there was a key in here before, wasn't there? Can't get on top of its head. Doesn't seem possible. Alright, well that looks like all of the extra stuff we can loot. It was worth a check at least. We've got a couple shotgun shells out of it, which we wouldn't have had otherwise. Let's get the rest of these artifacts put into the pillar and then we can get out of here. Alright, that's the last one going in. And the door opens. And that has to be the end of the level. There's a door there that has um, no visible way to open it that I could spot. But we're going into kind of like a tropical looking area now, aren't we? So yep, that's the previous door shut. Here's the new level. So a little peek up here, there's um stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. Alright, well, we'll take a proper look at that next time. For now though, it is time to finish. So thank you very much to everybody who watched. Thank you of course as well to the members and pledges for supporting everything I do. Do feel free to drop by our Discord server, linked in the description, if you'd like to chat with myself or any of the other members of our wonderful community. And hopefully you'll join me next time for, uh, whatever this mass of stairs is. Well, I'll see you around then. Bye-bye.